Line twists on a drop shot or some other type rigs. Uh, a lot of times, uh, uh, if you're fishing me, you'll notice I always check my knot like real quick. I'll kind of even when I'm just going to cast it, I'll kind of glance at it. Good, good. I mean, my eyes are still pretty good, but I'll, I'll look to see the position of the knot. If the knot is like, you know, on the side of the eye, then you're going to get the, the hooks and be going to want to twist with the bait. So I, I, whenever my knot gets like off to the side, or and those knots I showed that I told you about, the uni is a really good one because it pulls tight, really tight. You can cinch it down, and it's a cinch. So the harder you pull the main line, the, harder, the tighter the knot gets. So it doesn't tend to move as much. So I, I kind of jig or some, it doesn't move. So that's why I like that knot too. But I just make sure the knot, the line and the knot is off the center of the eye, and that'll keep your line twist down a little bit. And then, um, like when you nose hook a bait, uh, you know, I just barely hook it instead of going through like a quarter inch or even an eighth inch. Just do like a, you know, a sixteenth maybe. Just just pin it, and it doesn't necessarily. You won't lose a you, will, you might lose a few more baits, but that'll keep your line twist down. Plus, you get better action out of it too. And I can show you some different ways of rigging plastics. Uh, wacky, riggy, rack, wacky rigging a worm is almost no line twist. And I do that a lot. Um, you know, it slows your rate of fall down, but out here you probably want that to clear water. But I wacky rig a lot, and I go, tend to go more towards the head of the fatter end of the worm than the skinnier end. And you can do both. I, I kind of go back and forth depending on what kind of action you want. But that, uh, when you reel it up, doesn't twist your line. You don't get line twist wacky rigging. But if you do get wacky, uh, if you do get line twist, um, which I do, no matter what I do, uh, I take the worm off, make sure you're not straight. You know, just have the not the line you're not straight off the end of your hook, the eye of the hook, and then kind of. Make sure everything's nice and straight and cast it out. And instead of dragging it behind the boat, which is a pain, I just kind of hold it with as many fingers as I can and hold the rod against your stomach and I just reel as hard as I can with the rod tip in the water. And that will push all the twist out. And it usually takes a, one cast and get a bunch of it out. Like it'll spin real hard. And you know, usually like it, when it gets to the boat, about six feet off the tip of the rod, just hold it up. And it'll twist, it'll just like spin. If it's really bad, you do it again. And by the time, uh, if you did it the third time, normally it's all gone. Like you do it and it just sits there. And that's all your twist is gone. Like at, at Erie and stuff on nose hooking, I might do that five, six times a day, but a total it might take me a couple minutes, a minute to do it, to fix my line. And I, I don't like the leaders and the swivels, and I don't like, I don't like doing the braid, the fluorocarbon, I don't like the way it feels. I like straight fluoro, it's just smoother and the way it falls and, and pendulums down. I just like, I like it to, I like it the way it is. I tried it and I, I do that, I do the braid, the fluorocarbon a lot, but not, not with a drop shot. Um, any other questions about that? How do you tie the hook on then for drop shot? With the uni? I do a uni double. Yeah, if you, yeah, you got to double it though to do the drop shot, right? You guys need to know the knot. Because uh, if you do a single, you're going to have a tag on really long. It's hard to get the line. But if you double, you take your loops. I'll, I'll show you later. It's, but the uni, I do a uni knot, uni slip. And you'll have uh, most of the slip knots that have three tag ends. You'll have three, so. But it's, it's really strong.